Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Enjoy Learning Computer Science. To watch my previous videos, watch my YouTube channel. To get notified for my new videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Enjoy Learning Computer Science. This video is part 9 of Computer Networks. So in the last uh, video, we were discussing about the networking devices. This is the continuation of uh, part uh, the previous video that is part 8. So uh, let's uh, see in detail about hub. So what is hub? It is a hub is a device used to connect several computers with each other. Hub is a device used to connect several computers to each other. Okay. And it is a multi-port and it is an unintelligent network device. So unintelligent means what will happen? It just simply transfers data from one port of the network to another. It will not uh, send a particular information to the intended node one day. It will simply send or transfer data to all the port which is connected to the network. And it is a hardware device used to connect several computers together with different ports. Now, when the packet reaches one port, it is copied to all other ports of the hub without changing the destination address or anything. So, it simply copies the data to all the nodes which is connected to the hub. Okay, that's what it is known as. It is an unintelligent networking device. So, the computers for which the information is intended will receive the information and accept it. Other computers on the network simply reject this information because hub will send all the information, uh, send the information to all the nodes which are connected, right? So, only the intended node will be receiving the information and accepts it. Other computers just simply rejects it. So, the it is a dumb device, okay? Uh, so, it forwards the message to every node connected and it creates a huge traffic network. Now, hubs can be either active or passive. So, active hub, uh, hub means they amplify the signals as it moves from one connector device to another like repeaters. Passive hub, it just allows signals to pass from one device to another without any change. So, active means it amplifies the signal when it is traveled from one to another, one system to another system like uh, repeater, passive. It just allows the signals to pass from one device to another without amplifying, without any change. Uh, the next one is switch. Now the switch is known as an as intelligent hub. Okay, So a switch is an intelligent device that connects several nodes to form a network and it will redirect the received information only to the intended node only to that particular node that has to be received so that's what it is known as an intelligent device okay so a switch uh, is used to connect interconnect computers or uh, devices on a network it filters and forwards data packet across the network okay so the main difference between hub and switch is that hub replicates what it receives as one port into all other ports while switch keeps a record of the MAC addresses of the device attached to it. So a switch is a device that transmits data to the computers in the LAN to the particular uh, system only. Okay. So that's what it is known as intelligent device. So it is an intelligent hub that connects several nodes from to form a network and redirect the receive information only to that intended node. Now, a uh, router is a device that works like a bridge but can handle different protocols. For example, router can link Ethernet and mainframe. So, this router is responsible for forwarding data from one network to different network. So, a router is a networking device that which forwards uh, data packets from the source machine to the destination machine by using the shortest path okay so routers are used at the network layer that is the third layer of the osi model so router is a networking device which forwards data packet from the source machine to the destination machine by using the shortest path 
okay and uh, based on their ip address also so router uses logical address whereas bridge uses physical uh, address so what is a bridge actually so bridge is a network device that establishes an intelligent connection between two local networks with the same standard but different types of cables okay so a bridge is a device that lets you link two networks together and the router uh, is a networking device that forward data packets from the source machine to the destination machine by using the shortest path to the uh, on their ip address uh, uh, gateway so a gateway is a device that will connect different types of networks dissimilar networks okay a gateway is a device that connects dissimilar networks so in internet uh, several networks at this uh, different types of networks are communicating with each other and each network and will have different types of configurations so in order to make uh, uh, communicate with these types of uh, uh, different networks with different configuration uh, this gateway is used to commute to help communicate with each other so this gateway is a device which establishes an intelligent connection between a local area network and external networks with completely different structures so the difference between bridge and gateway is bridge is used to connect networks of same types but gateway is used to connect dissimilar networks for example bridge means uh, if there is an office which have it is having 200 computers connected in lan it is really uh, difficult to maintain with more number of computers so those uh, computers will be divided into small groups and will be maintained so those small groups of networks will be connected through bridge okay so bridge is used to connect networks of same type but gateway is used to connect dissimilar networks okay dissimilar networks to communicate so a gateway is a device that connects dissimilar networks uh, the next one is wi-fi card so a wi-fi card is i it can be either an internal or external local area network adapter with a built-in wireless radio and antenna okay so a wi-fi card which is used in a desktop computer enables the user to use uh, or establish an internet connection this wi-fi cards are known as wireless fidelity cards wireless fidelity cards and they allow us to set up connection without any wire it is used to connect without any wire okay so wireless fidelity cards are widely used in notebook computers due to their highly portable nature okay, it is portable the most common wi-fi cards used in desktop computers are pc express wi-fi cards and there are many wi-fi cards available so what is wi-fi wireless fidelity cards it is it can be either internal or external local network local area network adapter it has a wireless radio and antenna and advantage is that it allows computer to become a part of network without physically connected through wire and it can be placed anywhere okay so it allows a computer to connect with other device without wire it is wireless right so we, we have discussed uh, many network devices these network devices plays an important role in the smooth functioning of networks.